Hi, welcome to Shaky Sports Journeys. Um, exciting uh, recording for you today on the eve of uh, Cricket Scotland's campaign starting in the T20 World Cup. World Cup's already underway. Um, I think live at the moment, Namibia are on the verge of uh, beating Sri Lanka, which would be a, a massive upset to uh, to start the start the tournament. But let's get let's get into Cricket Scotland camp. Um, I'm joined today for the first of uh, hopefully three diaries that will take place during the T20 World Cup by Safian Sharif, Hamza Tahir, and special guest Mark Watt as well. How are we doing, gents? Good, oh, good. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Good to hear. Good to hear. So I'll come to you first, Mark. Did you boys take the weather with you? It's always the old old joke. That, but did you take the weather with you to Australia? It's been an absolute shambles to be honest. With you. It's been an absolute joke. I feel like we're in Glasgow to be honest. Um, but now nah, it's just been one of those things that you can't really control. But um, you know, we've got our head down. We've made made use of the facilities. If it's in the gym or if it's indoor nets, um, we've made use of it. So. It is what it is, but um, you know we're prepped enough and ready to go. Good to hear. Good to hear. Hamza, only the one warm-up game. I know you never played in that warm-up game. You were due to play against uh, UAE. So how are you feeling, the fact that you've not really had much game time, at, well, next to no game time out there going into a big game like uh, West Indies tomorrow? Um, well, we played against Namibia last week in Langra in the last camp we were in. Um, then obviously we've just been training indoors and doing the training we can and everyone's in the same boat so everyone's ready i think everyone's ready for this next game tomorrow and then in two days time against ireland safi you've played against the west indies before i remember the spell very well different format of cricket one day cricket obviously it was a it was a sad ending that day and i think if the game had went all the way scotland would have won but you bowled tremendously well up top, you'll be looking for similar tomorrow, I would have thought. Uh, yeah, definitely. It gives you a little of, a bit of confidence going into the game, knowing that you've, you know, balled well against a top quality side. Um, but, you know, T20 is a different format and uh, things will go with your way and things might not go our way. But I'm, I'm just going to be 100% confident and I'm believing myself that I can, you know, look to take some early polls up top and uh, see how, it, how how things go. Well, Tay, we just spoke about the weather. These West Indies boys are not going to be loving that weather, I don't think. I'm, I'd imagine there'll be a couple of layers on, you know, used to that warm weather. Is that something you can take advantage of tomorrow? Um, every, every little helps against these boys. Um, so I think that'll definitely be in the back of their head, hopefully. You know, somebody can hit it a bit harder at their hands, make them, make them a bit colder as well, so... Yeah, I mean, we're used to this. We're used to a bit of rain, a bit of um, wet outfields, bottom of the wet ball. We're used to that in Scotland. So, yeah, we'll take anything we can get. Who's uh, who's uh, the main players to watch out for West Indies tomorrow, Hamza? Who's, uh, who are you looking at and thinking, you know, I need to get it right when I'm going to be bowling at them? Um, I think if you look at the top order, it's quite strong. Myers up top, and then Pura at four, and Evan Lewis, they're all dangerous players so they bat all the way down so I think you have to be on the money and know your game plan and set out I think against these boys tomorrow Safi it's not going to be an easy route to be qualifying for this you've got three very very tough fixtures ahead West Indies tomorrow Ireland later in the week and then Zimbabwe how important is it to hit the ground running tomorrow if you can get a win against the Windies it, it would set you up nicely I think yeah, definitely. I think it's a, it would be a massive booster if you were to get a win tomorrow. And I think, well, I believe everyone is thinking the same thing. We're going to go out there and just give it 100%. And, uh, you know, I don't mind walking off the field, losing the game, knowing that we've done everything, um, which that can happen. Someone's going to lose, someone's going to win at the end of the day. So, But it would be a big advantage if he can, you know, get that first win and then the momentum will just shift into the next game, which would be ideal for the lads. And we can just go out there and play freely knowing that um, we've got a winner behind us. Absolutely. Well, Ate, I was reading something the other day, been working on a few different balls. Um, you mentioned this in-swinger that you got Moin Ali out with uh, in the Vitality Blast. Um, is that going to be the is that going to be the ball in this tournament? Is that, you know, you, you, you bowled extremely well 
the last T20 World Cup. Can we expect even better from you in this World Cup? Uh, I'd like to think so. Um, but, you know, last World Cup, it was quite heavily suited towards spinners being in the UAE. But, and then when you come to places like Australia, you've got to really think about what more you can add to your armoury. And, um, yeah, it's something that I've been working on since, I think it was the first lockdown. And it took two years to finally bowl in a game. So, yeah, it's definitely in my armoury now. Um, and, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I get shot with a new ball. I'll try and pull it out. Fielding has been something that, you know, you guys, I know, put a lot of emphasis on. You know, it's an area that you can beat any side. I mean, Hamza, you've, uh, you, your fielding is, uh, you've become like Scotland's John T. Rhodes, that catch that you took, that skyer, and then a couple of the, the, the diving catch off your own bowling. Um, you know, th that's got, fielding's going to be key in this World Cup, isn't it? That's really, you know, that's going to give you those extra, extra percentages that you're going to need against these big sides. Yeah, definitely. I think I read something the other day that I think they were saying the best fielding team will probably win the World Cup. So I think that is a controllable. So that's why they're saying the best fielding team is going to win it. So we'll see who that is. Who's a part? Who, I, I mean, I've watched you obviously plenty, but apart from Richie's obviously a standout fielder, always has been in the Scotland squad. Who who else are like the gun? Who's two or three other really gun fielders, Safi? Apart from um, yourself, would... apart from yourself, of course. Um, I'll probably go with um, Callum. I think he's quite good on, on the boundary riding. He pulls off some good catches and he saves a lot of runs. Um, we've got a new youngster, Brandon. He's very, very good. He's just come uh, his first tour with Scotland was the World Cup. And uh, I think he'll be exciting to watch in the field and obviously watching his um, gameplay as well. Funny you mention him. What do I come to you about, about Brandon? Very exciting selection. I've been following him for a couple of years now in club cricket. Every time I see him, he looks quality. Are you excited? Is he likely to be in the... I know you maybe can't give too much away. Is he likely to be in the playing 11 tomorrow? Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what the playing 11 tomorrow is going to be, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's in there. He's certainly impressed everyone here. Um, I remember bowling to him in the first Reavers... Not, not Reavers, sorry. Uh, Warriors night's game. And I was just thinking, who, who the hell is this guy? Where has he been? He was slapping me over extra cover for six into the car park at Clydesdale. So, uh, no, nah, he's definitely a great addition. And I wouldn't be surprised if he was if he got chucked the chucked the new ball or chucked the middle overs or even ball to death. And he can bat pretty much anywhere. So, um, yeah, he's been a great addition to the squad so far. And, yeah, definitely would be surprised if he gets um, chucked in at the deep end opening, making his debut against West Indies at World Cup. What a story that would be. Why not? Why not? It's a place to make a place to make a name for yourself. Later in the week, you'll come up against the Irish. Hamza is always a tasty fixture. Always good to play against the Irish. Um, how do you think you how do you think you level up against them just now? On for me, looking in the out in from the outside, I don't think they're any any stronger than Scotland. I think we're just as good. Yeah, I think we're just as good. If not better, they've obviously got some talented players and they've played a lot of cricket, um, which is an advantage of being a full member. Um, so yeah, I think that'll be a good game. Definitely one to watch. Um, if we can, you know, control the power play in both innings, I think we'll be in a good position to win that game. And then Zimbabwe, Safi, you've got plenty of experience of playing Zimbabwe. They obviously came to Edinburgh um, for a tour. It was a great, it was a great series. I personally, think Scotland should have should have won it. We probably just missed some final moments at the end of a couple of the games, but a one off one off fixture. It could end up being a a final for you, depending on how these next couple of games go, that you have to win it to, to qualify. How do you feel about taking them on? I'm pretty confident. I think uh, everyone's pretty confident against any team. I think we've put in the hard work in now and uh, we're just ready to go. And hopefully when it comes to Zimbabwe game, we just nail everything. Like Hamza said, if he can take control in both power plays, I'm pretty sure you're, you will be on the winning side. So hopefully we can just... Um, stick to our plans and make sure that we do everything we can in our armory to get that win. You all look very relaxed, lads. I have to say, it's good to see. You look really chilled out. Night before a huge game. What's the plans now for the for the rest of the evening? Um, what's on the menu? What restaurant are you going to? What, what, what are you up to this evening? Uh, I'm not sure, really. <laughs> Hans does, yeah. Hans has normally got the good recommendations. Has he found a good, yeah, found a good a, curry? Have you found a good place for a curry, Hamza? No, I've not. I might just be at like Nando's tonight and then maybe a coffee or something, a tea, then that's it, call it a night. Call it a night. 
call it a night. Surely, surely you can't gamble with a call it a night before a massive Scotland game. That's a big gamble. Yeah. <laughs> a big gamble. That is a big gamble. That is a big gamble. What's the forecast looking like for tomorrow? You checked in on it? I think it's pretty good. Try not, I, pretty good. I try not to check in on the forecast too much. I feel like if you start looking at that, your your head kind of sways to what the weather's doing instead of just staying staying focused. So in my eyes, it's clear, clear, no rain, 25 degrees, just like Paisley. Just like Paisley. <laughs> Look, lads, I know it's been difficult to to get this time in. Um, time difference is huge. Um, I know you've been really busy. Um, obviously, plenty of meetings today, just getting prepped and getting organised for the tournament ahead. But I really appreciate you giving me 10, 15 minutes of your time to have a chat. Um, we'll be tuning in tomorrow um, to, to watch you boys. And, and I'm fully confident that you can, uh, you can give these windies a... Uh, I, 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 I think you can beat them. I definitely think you can beat them and start the tournament with a bang. So all best wishes. I'm sure there'll be plenty of people supporting you from back home. Any messages just before we finish? To anyone back home from each of you, please? Just thanks very much for last year's support. And hopefully you can do one better and make it through to the, the next stage and take some of the bigger dogs down. Good to hear, Safi. Lots of prayers uh, for the lads and uh, hope we can, you know, do this for the guys back home and girls back home. So just bring in all the prayers you can so that we can win this first round and go well. Hamza, I met your lovely yeah. wife at the uh, yeah. at Majid's wedding. She was at her first wedding yeah. without our without our cricketer husband. You got a message for the family or, or the missus back home? Uh, no, really, I've already spoken to them. So <laughs> I was just... Uh, to everyone just you know just pray for us and hopefully we can get into the next round and take some big scalps good to hear lads wishing you all the best thanks for coming on speak to you soon cheers yes cheers thank cheers. you